Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about how to write the custom utility consoles for Sidekick for a specific requirement. As part of this tutorial, I will explain, I will create a form and then we will submit a form. So if you need to access, update or modify your specific document, then you have to write a platform specific code. What do you mean by that? So if your documents are in Google Drive or SharePoint, then you have to write the platform specific code to access, update or modify those documents. As part of this tutorial, I'll explain only how to write that consoles means we'll understand the basics of it. So there are two steps to create this console. First, you have to create a folder under tools. You can create at other locations as well, but I'll make it consistent because I would be creating all the folders under tool. And this is the standard practice. So create a folder based on your requirement. It can be any name and create all subfolder inside this folder. Like you can create your HTML, CSS, JavaScript and assets. Move all your file and assets there. Then you have to add a action or button inside config.json as we I have already explained right you have to write a plugin for it you have to add a section under plugin right so important part here is if you see I have already explained all these uh, properties what which property does what right so important is fourth line you see the URL this URL should be the relative path of your first consoles when first consoles means first file right where your console start so all my code HTML code it is written in contact us dot HTML so the, your URL should be relative path to that particular file so now let's quickly see how demo how can we do that so you would see here on the left panel, I created a folder and inside contact us and inside I created multiple subfolders to keep my assets, CSS and JavaScript. Main file is this uh, contact us.html. It's very simple. It has few form fields like it has a form, right? Nothing else. Inside this file, I'm accessing this JavaScript file, which is inside my JS folder. It's just relative path to this fold uh, to this file that's it nothing else inside this i'm just only writing a code to submit that form to an endpoint what that endpoint we'll understand that inside my config.json i'll add a custom button or action so i'll create two to make you understand how that open in palette and how it open in a new tab so if you see here i added two plugin entries here First one, it says palette true and second says I did not add palette true. So that means by default, it will open in a new tab. Important part, as I explained, you need to understand here. This is the relative path to your file where form exists. It should be the first file where a console start means functionality of a console start. OK, so now there will be two buttons in your sidekick. One say contact us palette. Now that would say contact us page. Now let me push this code to Git and see how it works. So as I deploy code, the two buttons are available as you open any document in edit mode. So there will be two buttons, right? One for the palette, one for the page. I specifically want to show you this. So if you open this, it would open in a palette, right? This is my button, right? I have already submitted. So that's why you see these values. Let me refresh this. Right. This is the form. Now I'm submitting this form to an endpoint. So endpoint is this. I simply create one endpoint called website. This web hook, hook webhook dot website. You can create your own. Go there and create one endpoint. Right. So this one I mentioned as a endpoint in my code. Let me show you quickly. So this one. Right. I'm only submitting this along with the form. I'm submitting referral as well. Referral project code repo from where these are coming i have already explained why this reference is needed because your functionality your code should know from which document it is coming so it can backtrack and go there so it can backtrack all your configuration this i have already explained i will not explain it again so this one if you see why this is coming i'm passing this pass config and pass referrer that's why all these values are coming as a query parameter right so inside this 
I'm, I'm getting all these values, refer, project, and repo, and along with the my form fields, right? That's it. It's very simple. Now, let me let me submit this, right? It opened. So let me submit this form. I did not write any fancy messages and all. Uh, so I'm just only creating this form and I would submit. So as soon as I submit this, nothing would happen. But if you go here and see this one, the form has been submitted. If you see the name was AEM, phone number, email and message. Other things you see here, Google Doc, which actually I'm fetching from this a query parameter i'll show you once we open this in a different tab so you would be able to see query parameters so this is my document this is my project name and this is my git repo helix now okay so the form is getting submitted right now if i let's say i'm opening a new page this one another one it would open in a new tab right so there's two ways as i already explained you can open in a palette and you can open in a tab so you will see here these configurations repo uh repo repo uh the other project and you would see here document as well see the referral so these values were coming even if you open in a palette or in a new tab so i got these values and i'm submitting these values to this end point again this this was just a basic how to write that generally why you would be writing these are kind of consoles to access or updating your document so in that case you have to write a platform specific code i hope you understood if you have any question add your comment thank you